know this has been going on for a very long while now. That seems like every week it's either a clock video, a radio video, a clock radio video, a TV video, a quick video, or videos that make no damn sense. Well, I got an interesting story. I mean, to be honest, yes. Yesterday I was planning on doing a fan video, an actual fan video video, not a quick video, but an actual vlog type thing. But then it's like I had one fan that I ended up losing because it took a nasty fall and broke the motor mounts. And during that process, process it bounced off of a blender carafe, which was going to be subject for a future video, and that broke. And while picking up the glass or whatever, I ended up getting stabbed in, the, in my hand. So, not good. That pretty much just took whatever ambitions I had for that day and pfft, all that stuff. But all is not lost, though. I mean, I am getting a video out to you guys, so you're welcome. But anyway, let's get to the back to the plot at hand. This is another clock radio that I got at the Goodwill shop some months ago. It just now got uncovered because I ended up losing my glasses last week and trying to find them. And this was in the pile of stuff that was near the corner of no return. So yeah. And think of this as my first True Tone radio. Yeah, True Tone. Solid State FMAM. And this right here is where the price tag was. I'm going to have to get some goo gone or whatever. And the clock is working, so I mean, I'm sure it started when I was rambling on with that little speech in the beginning. And all that. And it's the model number. And it's upside down. MIC two, what does that say? I can't read that. MIC two two three zero A dash twenty seven. Radio made in Korea, clock made in the USA. So I don't know who originally made this. I know it's not Zenith because, well, it's not because the speaker's up here, and on Zenith Circle of Sound clock radios, they were, the speaker was at the bottom. So yeah. It was a $3 find, and I thought it was intriguing because it is my first True Tone, but it's going to need some work. Namely the clock, because it takes like about 5 minutes for it to start, and the controls are very, very scratchy. And it's not very loud, so... Ah! Okay, find something else right quick, because don't want to get hit with the copyright. Not as much of a thing I want to show off. The alarm is probably going to need some work too. Yeah. 
All right, not my best work of this uh, vintage clock radio. Hell, maybe I should have done the fan video. It would have been disaster, but it would have made for better entertainment than this. So yeah. Signing off this video of the True Tone Western Auto Solid State Clock Radio Model 2230A-27. So I guess till next time, that's the Vince Watcher Comic Box. Go fans!